On to Teardown. Let's see here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven regular Phillips head screws. Okay, remove those seven Phillips head screws, and then hopefully just kind of pops on out. Yeah, all right, so far, so easy. No, please tell me that they don't have one under the... Oh, that would... okay, no, it doesn't look like they do. Yeah, okay, there we go, just a little bit of... A little finicky. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, those are just weights. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, it is at least an actual button. Okay, so there it, it they are Hall Effect, right? There's a little magnet. There's that. Bada bing, bada boom. But then there is that little uh, micro switch chilling right there. Don't lose focus on me. There you go. And then that comes down and hits that. So I could just remove that because I don't think it because ma it didn't matter. It was it was detecting movements like that. Um, let's see. Maybe if I maybe if I I don't want I don't want it to click at all. Yeah, booyah! What's up? Just grab some tweezers, pull out this little membrane, whatever, and then it will detect without without a uh, without clicking. Gorgeous. Well, it will not continue to detect for um. Smash Bros. Via the uh, ba ba da ba da ah the the thing with the the dongle the GameCube port dongle. Uh, so that's a bummer. All right, get those screws out. And then does it just come out or what's there? We go. Okay. What's happening? Oh, oh, I hate when they do that. Ugh. All right. Well, first, let's just take a look at this. See if there's anything interesting. Watch as I break. See that? That's what sucks about these. The ribbons are super sensitive, and so it's like, okay. Well, yeah, these are absolutely whole. Yeah, it says so right there. I think it's showing up. I can't really tell. Yeah, they're haul, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Yes, let's use haul. Make sure we use haul on the sticks, which is good. Make sure we use haul on the triggers, which is good. But then let just to make sure it still sucks. Let's put a uh, micro switch on the triggers, <laughs> just in case anyone wanted it to actually feel like a GameCube controller. Okay, yep, look at that. Good old membrane goodness. Except then they did a membrane micro switch combo on the D-pad because they suck. Oh, I'm so bummed out about this. <laughs> This just feels so right. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Oh, gosh. Well, uh, for anything that detects the hull, the analog, however they decided to make that be red, you can kill the, um, the clicky triggers. Uh, I honestly don't expect to use this controller for anything ever, so I don't care if it doesn't detect it all the way. On the rare occasion that I'll pick it up, I want it to be quiet, as quiet as it can be, so I'm going to leave those little membrane things that hit the micro switch on the triggers out. Yeah, I'm just, uh... Super bummed out about this. Um, 
is really disappointing. Shame on you, Retro Fighters. Shame on you.